Thank you, Anvita. Uh, it's my proud privilege to welcome all of you. And really, Chamber is honored to have Dr. Marian Sensen, Mr. Sunil Mathur, and Mr. Amit Nair for the first part of the session. So I would like to formally once again welcome you, sir. And so I thought, you know, President has already uh, talked about a lot of things, and I'm sure. So it's my duty to just, uh, I thought we should run through the activities of the chamber. But before I talk about the activities of the chamber, let me just tell you, today we had a, a election result because there were some eight elections positions were there and today we conducted an e-voting. So we had three newly elected members. So I thought, let me just introduce everyone uh, from the governing board. I would like to congratulate all our governing board for 2021. So first of all, Mr. Manish Bhatnagar, and as the president has mentioned, Mr. Bharat has mentioned, he's from SK. He has taken over as a president elect. Congratulations, Mr. Bhatnagar. Then we have Mr. Piyush Kaushik. Uh, he is from the Philips. He And he has taken over as vice president. So congratulations, Mr. Kaushik, once again. And we have Mr. Anupam Jori from the Rafaisen Bank. He is representing the Indo-Austrian uh, Committee, Bilateral Committee. Captain Avinash Vatra from Seahorse. He has been nominated from the Indo-Spanish Bilateral Committee. Then we have Mr. Joy Lakilan. He has been from the BBV Bank. Uh, he has been nominated from the Indo-Greek Business Committee. Mr. Meghnath Mitra from Mahindra. He has been nominated from the Indo-Finnish Business Committee. Mr. Prakash Tulsiani from All Cargo from Indo-Portuguese Business Committee. Mr. Sharir Shroff from Punjab Chemicals. He has been nominated from the Indo-Danish Business Committee. And of course, apart from that bilateral committees, which uh, has been nominated by the Bombay Chamber, who, which is our promotion, one of our promoter chamber. Apart from that, we have some bilateral chambers who have been associated, associated with us. So one is the Indo-German Chamber. From Indo-German Chamber, Mr. Ravi Kriplani uh, from Thyssen Group. He has been nominated. Congratulations, Mr. Kriplani. We look forward to have you with us. Mr. S.K. Saraf, who is not a new name for us. He, is be, he was our president also, from, and he represents the Indo-Romania Chamber. Welcome, Mr. Saraf, as well. Then Mr. Sumit Anand, he was also our uh, governing board member. So. As I said, we have the election uh, result today. So there were three gentlemen who have been elected from the membership of the chamber, two from life membership and one from SME category. Uh, so Mr. Balakuti from the life membership, Dr. Anand Vogis from the life membership and Mr. Rakesh Kumar from EPCAG, he has been nominated, elected, sorry. So this is how we have a 17 members, uh, governing board, congratulations to all gentlemen. So at, le at last, not the least, I would like to express my deepest thanks and gratitude to Mr. Ashok Bharat for his exemplary leadership under the guidance of whom the chamber was able to do a lot of activities in spite of this pandemic uh, era. And we have stayed. Uh, so thank you, Mr. Bharat, uh, to give us an opportunity to work under your leadership. And it's truly an honor to work with you. And we look forward to your continuous support. Thank you, sir. And we have an advisory board, which has been uh, represented by Dr. Ajit Ranade, Ranade, who is from Aditya Verla Group, and Mr. Ramesh, uh, uh, Mr. Ramesh from Stockholding Corporation of India. This is about something about the chamber. I'm sure since most of you are our members. You know about our activity, but just I thought since the, His Excellency is also there. So let me very briefly talk about the chamber. The chamber was set up in 1992 under the aegis of the European ambassador and has been represented by the bilateral chambers as well as the bilateral committees. Uh, so our objective is definitely to ensure that we foster the partnership between the EU and European Union, India and European Union. Uh, So at the time of a formation, uh, the configuration of the, uh, the chamber was that we have a binational chambers. Then of course we have a binational committees 
and the chief patron is the EU delegation. And then we have a committees, the Indian companies and the European companies. So this is the whole structure of the organization. Let me very briefly tell you about the membership. Uh, so if you see total membership is around 521. Uh, of course, since we are based in India, we have a majority of companies are from India, Indian companies. Uh, but these Indian company, when I say they are definitely having a stake in your European company countries. So though these are Indian companies, but with, uh, they have a European stake for sure. And then we have a European countries uh, companies, which are 19 number. And then also, if you see, we have a category wise, where there is a large uh, companies as well as the light and the SMEs, which the details are given as such. And so if you see our membership and sponsorship accounts, almost 55% of the total revenue of the organization. And these are the some publication which uh, Chamber has been um, bringing out. Some of the publications are bi-monthly, some are annual basis, and some are, of course, the monthly basis. So our, for example, our annual report is a um, annual uh, yearly publication. Then we have a business purse, which is a bi-monthly, and the directory, which is going to be very soon out. And this would be the online directory. And I'm sure all members will get this. Uh, directly online. And then we have a e-newsletter, we call it e-bulletin, which is again the bi-monthly newsletter. So these are some of our activities I just thought to, you know, share with you. So during a year 1920, we had a lot of activities. So one of our flagship event is, of course, the Europe Day, which every year in May we have been organizing along with the EU delegation. So last year we had some, uh, you know, it was, of course, the focus was something on culture. So we had Mr. Anil Kapoor, and this was attended by 300 plus participants and many diplomats attended it. And we have an evening full of entertainment and uh, ambassador, Mr. Tomas Kovzlowski was the guest of honor. Apart from doing a business thing, we also try to promote the cultural ties. So towards that end, we had hosted a film, um, festival along with the EU delegation. So this is a snapshot of that event. There were 23 films that were screened of a various country and of course Slovenia. So one of the Slovenian film was also screened His Excellency. And this is also about some of the delegation which chamber time to time have been hosting. So we had a delegation from Latvia. Uh, you can see captain also as he's already council of a Latvia. So we had the delegation from Latvia, we had the delegation from Ireland, we had again the delegation from Finland. So that way, during the year, we had received many delegations. So, and these are some of our activities, like you, we, are, we have been hosting about the union budget and all, which is again well, very well participated. Chamber has also participated in the PharmaTech Expo. Uh, we were one of a supporter. So these are some of the highlights of uh, 2020, I would say, uh, though we have, all of us are going through this pandemic era, but still that has not stopped us to do the activities. Uh, so we have conducted a lot many webinars and all on different topics and which we are very well attended by our member companies as well as the other members. So these are some snapshots of the webinars. Also, I would like to mention here about the sector committees, which is again one of a backbone of the chamber. During the presidentship of Mr. Ashok Bharat, we had constituted few sector committees. Of course, these committees, when we are constituted, you know, we wanted to do a lot of activities, but we could not do because of the reason, as I mentioned. Uh, so, but still, you know, we have appointed the chairman and co-chairman and some activities have been conducted, which I will just share with you. So let me tell you, we have an automobile sector committee, which is being headed by Mr. Sujan Roy, who is from Tata Motors, and Mr. Saket Hadikar, he is from AI2 a, a company, which is a Polish company and then we have a, a banking and financial committee which is headed by Mr. Narayan Sadhanan. He is MD and CEO of SBI Pension. 
then we have a education committee which is a, again a very active committee i would say uh, chairman is dr uday salunki of wellinkar and professor satyanarayan from the overseas education and we have a engineering committee where mr pd samudra of thaisa group is a chairman and mrs harshvina zaveri is a co chairman and ict mr ashank desai is a chairman and mr joseph hill is a co chairman for a legal and regulatory we have mr shalil shah as a chairman and mr sohel nathani as a uh, vice chairman co chairman and then we have a logistic and shipping company of which mr abhijit nayar is a chairman so these are uh, some of the activities which we have done under the committees for example for the automobile committee we made some representation to the government authorities which was very well received and then we have done one webinar under the committee of logistic which was again very well participated and we could finally we can uh, prepare some good recommendation on the sector and again something on education which we did Uh, we had a education delegation from the finland which was hosted under the august uh, committee of uh, education so these are some of the business support activities which we have been doing and we have been successful in getting some good business support for these are the companies which i have mentioned uh, some companies are mentioned they have quite be benefited from our association by you know we have been able to get some good business leads for them so the company's names are mentioned again chamber tries to uh, do some activities and see like you know we get some media coverage as well as so you can see these are some of our media clippings and these are some of our mous we have signed during the pandemic era one was with the gujarat chamber of course it was signed by mr ashok bhar and then one was with the deccan chamber of commerce these are some of our testimonial what people say about us and definitely this is the most important thing we would like to thanks all our sponsors who have supported us during the year so you can see we had a platinum sponsors and then the gold sponsors silver sponsor we would really like to thank them and place on record a sincere appreciation for the Uh, all the support what they have extended because without their support we cannot do anything and i can say some of these sponsors are our members and we really want to thank them again sometimes you know when we do the events we get some support even in kinds also so their names are also been mentioned apart from that as i mentioned we have some publication there are some advertisers who have been advertising us uh, with us in the various publications so their names are also being mentioned and now this is for the today's event you can see these are the various sponsors uh, you know for today's event platinum sponsor punjab chemicals and paytm gold sponsor bnp paribas and the flywell and icici bank silver sponsor in exim bank haropa and seahorse hindustan technology hsbc skf sbi pension skp and the indus group so i would definitely like to thank all our sponsors for who have made this today's event successful i would say yeah this is from my side i would like to talk about i thought you know let me give you a little glimpses of the organization what organization has done during a year in spite of this uh, covid era uh, and we look forward to the participation and the support from all our member companies without whom we cannot function i would say